I want to cry when I look at this and I reflect on the adventures we've had together. Good morning, Fearless Fam, and welcome back to Travel Talk Tuesday. What's awesome about Travel Talk Tuesday is that every week we have all these different travelers that come together and we have one topic and we all have different backgrounds and different futures ahead of us and different mindsets. So we all bring our own unique perspective to it and we compile it into a playlist every week. So I've got that link down below. Today's topic is about our travel essentials. To me, the word travel essentials would mean things that are essential to my packing besides the super obvious ones. So I'm not gonna talk about my luggage or my backpack or my passport or anything like that. I'm gonna talk about more fun things that I didn't expect to turn into essential items Items, but they have and they come with me on every trip. When I saw the topic for this week, first thing I thought of was some good old packing cubes and this is a, st a set of three and I don't know where the third one is, but it's somewhere in this house packing cubes, and these I realize are very small packing cubes. That's just a fancy word for a little kind of container, usually a zipper container of some kind, that is usually open so you can see what's in it, and it's for organization in your suitcase or your backpack. My mother-in-law gave these to us, and when I saw them I was like, those are smaller than I expected or wanted to have, and now that I've used them, they're the perfect size. I freaking love these things. So I don't think I brought this big one to China with me. This one though for sure went to China and there's an even smaller one and I actually used it to organize different things throughout the trip. They have helped me so much to stay organized. I just hate reaching into a suitcase or backpack and having it be like completely just like just random crap everywhere. I can't stand it and as someone who deals with anxiety and has struggles when I'm in line at a grocery store and I feel like I'm backing people up and I'm causing people too much time I get really anxious. I'm anxious just thinking about it. Number two, I I cannot find this item in my house yet. I know it exists here, but it is the pocket monkey. And I don't know if how many of you guys have heard of the pocket monkey, but it is the really random tool. It's the size of a credit card and it's made of metal and it is strong as hell. It has 12 functions. I know for sure I've used it as a bottle opener. I've used it as a wrench. I've used it as a screwdriver, as a ruler, as a way to organize my headphones, as a way to open an orange. I'm I know, this tool is weird. I'll insert a picture of it right here. It is just a really unique little tool that does a bajillion things and it's super small, TSA friendly, fits in your wallet. It's like $12 and I cannot tell you how many times that thing has come in handy to me on a trip. Third item, I wanna cry when I look at this and I reflect on the, the adventures that we've had together. My GoPro, I love having a GoPro. It is the coolest thing. This thing is so tiny, I can like fit it in my pocket, I just push, one button, it starts recording a video, and I have that whole experience documented. It can be waterproof if I put the waterproof backing on, dropped it many times, it still survived. I've put it on a bike and taken shots while I was on a bike. I've used it in the plane to like sneakily take footage when they're like, can you please put all your electronics away? But I have like a floaty back on it and you can like throw it around the pool. And I like vlog with it, make videos, this thing. I love it so much. I think I only paid like $100 for it. This is the first gen, so it doesn't have a screen on the back. And I shoot the majority of my videos on this actually. So for me, this is an absolute travel essential. And if you're looking for a camera that is just like no frills, super easy to use, you can pull it out of the box and start right away. This is a good one to go with. Personally though, I would not use this if you are primarily taking photos. If video is your thing, hell yes, go for the GoPro. But this thing only takes good photos in excellent lighting. Fourth item, a pair of waterproof hiking shoes. For me personally, when I travel, I'm always wanting to do these like outdoor activities and different kinds of events and things that require a pair of really nice shoes that I'm gonna be walking around in all freaking day. And having a pair of waterproof hiking shoes has been the biggest lifesaver on travels. I got these right before I went to China. I think they're by Merrill and they're actually men's hiking shoes. They both have feet, men, women, we all have feet, we can share our shoes. They are by Merrill and they're about a hundred bucks. Try not to get them close to my face because that's kind of gross. I will warn you though, these things are super heavy. So actually this is always the 
shoes that I wear when I'm going on a flight because these things will weigh down your backpack. And I think that's because they're super duper supportive of my feet. Um, they actually make my feet feel really good and because they are waterproof so there's more materials required when you're making an item like that. An alternative to that if you're just gonna, if you know you're just gonna be in an area where it's okay to wear open toed shoes often, it's gonna be really warm, you get a pair of Chacos. So I've got both options linked down below, suggestions for you guys. Next, this, which probably doesn't look like much, but boy has this thing come in handy. This is a tote bag, but it's collapsible, and I'm sure you've seen these many, many times. This thing should be dead by now, but it's not. It's still kicking, because this is just like a nice little cheap one. It basically zips up into this tiny little square. Also, it's super squishy, so it's super easy to pack, and that means that I can bring this in my purse with me when I go out. If I'm gonna be coming home with more items than I leave with, but I don't wanna bring a big bag, this is like the best thing ever. And I've used this so many times. Um, it's just really handy that it folds up to so small, and then it folds out to a big tote bag. So I definitely bring this on pretty much all my travels. Next is an empty coin purse. Now, it might seem kind of random, but personally, I hate trying to mix multiple types of foreign currency in the same wallet. It drives me crazy. So I've got my wallet from home, my American style wallet. When I arrive in a country that uses a different type of money, I just throw that American wallet deeper in the backpack, you know, still carry it on you. And then I put all my new foreign currency in my handy little coin purse. When I went to China, I was using all cash and change, very few cards. So I relied on this coin purse and actually what's funny is there is some Chinese money in here. Um, yeah. I got some Uji. Oh my god, I found the pocket monkey, you guys. <gasps> this is the pocket monkey. <laughs> yeah, that's exciting. Go team, we did it. Also, if you're curious, this one says, don't fall in love and me hypocrisy. Can we get married? Next, I don't know how I'm gonna link this below because American Apparel is apparently now out of business, but I have this item. It looks like a giant piece of cloth because it kind of is, but it's, it's more versatile and practical than that. All right, so basically this is like a tube of fabric. It's like real big, it's stretchy, and it's open. So most of the time I wear it like this as a scarf comfy, warm, but what's cool about this is you can tie it around and wear it as a skirt. So I had a friend who wore this as a dress once. I have folded it up and used it as a pillow in many circumstances. I have covered myself with it at a temple and something that I never expected to use it as, but actually I've used it as it more than once, is a pillowcase. So because it is like an open tube type thing, it's really hard to show on camera, you can just put a pillow inside here and use it as a pillowcase. For me, this has become a must have when I travel. And this was actually handmade by a friend and it was modeled directly after a, the American Apparel scarf that they used to have. I think it's called the four in one scarf or something like that. If I find a dupe for this, I will definitely link it down below. Okay, I've got three more things. I'm gonna start with the least exciting one, which is hand sanitizer. I don't need to go into detail. Just have this on you. On your travel day, oh, you're gonna want this. $1.29, Trader Joe's. Boom. Next item, a notebook. And this one is so cute, I love it. It actually came in a set of three, which I brought all three of to China, and I used a total of one of them. But I always, always bring a notebook with me when I travel. And just a small one, this is pretty thin, it's flexible, it's not very big. And I bring it with me because I find myself always wanting to write things down when I'm traveling. Whether it's like a specific memory or something to remember, like to do. I've been told some information and I need to write it down or a phone number or whatever. For many different reasons, I have been loving bringing a notebook on me whenever I travel. The very last item, which to me is the most fun out of all the items, is my Kindle. And actually this is a hand-me-down from my mother-in-law. I will link the newest Kindle or whatever the one is that they're selling that's like affordable on Amazon. I'll link that down below. But I have loved having a Kindle because I can flip back and forth between a bajillion
million different books and I am like really indecisive and I get in different moods and I want to read different books at different times and when I'm traveling I for sure need entertainment and so the Kindle I have like three to ten different books on it at any time I have a bunch of games on it and it's just like my go-to little buddy when I'm traveling and the great thing about it is I can drain the battery out of this while I'm on the plane and then I'm not using up my phone battery and without recharging it because phone battery usage is treasured when I travel. I don't know, I need to get one of those portable charger things. It'd probably be on my travel essentials list if I would just buy one, but. <coughs> I almost choked on my own spit. So that is it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I did ten! My top ten travel essentials. I accidentally just made this Pinterest list. Those are my 10 travel essentials. If you want to see more of my travel essential items or if you want to hear about my anxiety essentials because this channel is all about traveling with anxiety, head over to my website. I just redid it. Be kind, it's still under construction. I'm working very hard on trying to get it up to date and make it a super awesome resource for you guys. But there is a new little shop link on it that has my travel essentials and my anxiety essentials. So go check out those lists on there. I also have a full packing list. So if you have been inspired to start packing for your upcoming trip or start making your list, I have the ultimate female packing list linked down below. It's just like a very thorough list that I look through every time before I start packing for a trip and it helps me out. Thank you for watching today guys and stay tuned for tomorrow. I have a very fun travel vlog coming to you tomorrow. If you have any guesses as to which travel vlog I'm putting up, leave a comment down below. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye!